Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on a Dell laptop. Let me show you the model number. If you flip your laptop in the back, take a look at the number here. It says PF102F or PF102F002. So in this teardown process, I'll be explaining to you what are the things that you can upgrade. For example, your RAM, maybe your hard drive, maybe the battery, you can change it out, things like that. So I'll do a complete teardown and walk you through the process. So I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. This is the 1.5 Phillips. And let's go ahead and remove the screw. So the two screws here on the top left and right, they do not come off. So just leave it as is. Okay, once you have removed all the screws, let's go ahead and pop open the back cover. What you can do is to get yourself a plastic prying tool. And let's go ahead and pry open the back cover here. All right, it looks like there is one middle screw right here that is still, oh, sorry, I apologize. It's just a little clip on. The clipper is clipping onto this, this thing right here. You just have to pull it a little bit harder and it will just pop right out. Okay, at this point here, you're looking at the entire laptop. So let me quickly walk you through what are you looking at. The thing is on the left corner here, the little like a coin looking thing that is your CMOS battery if you want to reset your BIOS you just have to pull the battery connector down and wait for like few minutes to reset the CMOS this is your laptop battery to remove the laptop battery you just simply slide the connector down like so slide it down towards your body it doesn't have any safety connector or anything that holds on to it you just have to slide it down to remove it get yourself a Phillips screwdriver this is the PH1 okay there are five screws total once you have removed them you can simply remove the battery if your laptop is not holding the charge or if you feel like the battery is swollen or there's any lump to the battery then more likely you need to do a battery replacement now if you feel like your trackpad is not clickable or the trackpad is a little bit lumpy then it is also because of the battery what happened is that when the battery is swollen then it pushes the trackpad on the other side now this is the battery model here H5 CKD or you can look it up on this part which is the CN090776 what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below where you can buy um, the tools and the parts directly from either Amazon or eBay so go check the link below down below all right, here is your RAM. So you have a DDR4 slot one and DDR4 slot two. All right, so if you want to upgrade the RAM, you can simply by increasing from four gigabytes to eight gigabytes, eight and eight, that would be 16, or you can do 16 and 16, that would be 32. 
to increase the RAM or to change out the RAM, you simply just pull the two side clipper, push it away from each other, and the thing will just pop right out and slide that RAM at 45 degree angle. Here is your RAM. It says PC4 3200. And PC4 stands for DDR4, and this is 4 gigs RAM. To insert or to install, you just have to make sure it match the RAM slot at 45 degree angle and then just push it down. When you push it down, you can feel the clipper will just lock it on itself. Alright, so the next process, let's go ahead and remove the SD card, uh, sorry, the NVMe uh, hard drive. They're giving you the small version of it, meaning the tiny mini version of the NVMe SSD. But if you want to install the full version, you can do that as well by swapping the slot. This is the, uh, the hard drive slot. You can move it backwards. Sorry, you can move it downwards at this point. Okay and you can install the full NVMe drive. Okay. But for my case, I'll be using the small version, the mini version of this. Alright, let's move on to the next process. I'll be removing the CPU fan. And then slide the connector down. That's how you remove that CPU fan. Alright, the next step is to disconnect this cable here. And there is a saf safety pin connector, you need to flip that pin up. Now you can slide that cable to your left. To disconnect the cable this cable right here is just an IO board cable that draws the HDMI external display off from the IO board to your motherboard this is your Wi-Fi card it collects the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth so remove the screw and the bracket now you need to identify the white label is for number two the one has no label is on the top for number one. Slide the Wi-Fi card at 45 degree angle and that's how you're going to remove it. Alright, this one right here, you need to flip open the cable. Now you can slide once the cable is, the connector is, is open. Now you can slide that keyboard lighting down flip open the clipper here now you can slide the keyboard flex cable this is additional nvme m.2 ssd drive that you can install assuming that you have the original that is still here if you want to add additional one you can install it on this side All right, so let's move on to the next step. We are disconnecting the LCD screen cable. Open up the clipper and slide that 40 pin out. And this is your webcam. You need to slide the cable to your right. But before you do that, let's remove that screw. 
this is your hinge, it would help you to um, it'd be easier to flip open the hinge out before you can disconnect that webcam cable. Now you can just slide it to your right. I know it's somewhat stick down to it. You need to kind of pry it open. And that's how, that's how you disconnect it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and remove the motherboard. I'd like to show you what we're gonna see. But before I do that, let's disconnect the speaker cable, slide it down, open up the flex cable. This is for your touchpad or your trackpad. Slide the flex cable. Remove some of the screw here. This is your motherboard screw. This one right next to the speaker connector. And the two more right here, I believe is for the USB-C. Remove the bracket of the USB-C connector. And now you're and now the motherboard will just pop right out. Okay, so the CPU is here and there is the heatsink for that. Fl flip it around, that's how it looks like. All right, so that is very great. Now the next step is to, um, let's remove the keyboard as well so that you can get to see what is happening here. If you spill um, liquid on your keyboard, or maybe, you know, um, the keyboard stopped working, something wrong with the keyboard, then unfortunately you would have to change the entire keyboard. The reason why I say that is because, the reason why I say that is because, as you can see, I apologize, this is not the uh, webcam connector, this is actually a DC jack connector. Okay, the reason why I say that, if you take a look at the keyboard, is it is a punch down that made by the manufacturer. It's not screw in. So, there's no way you can remove the keyboard. If you remove the punch down, you're going to break the keyboard so it's not replaceable. So, this keyboard right here is made with the palm rest. This is what we call the palm rest. This is the trackpad or the touchpad and the keyboard. It is one entire full assembly. So when you change it, you would have to change with this model right here, CN06XCC3. I believe that is the model of this, this keyboard. And you might have to transfer your touch ID. So this touch ID right here, the finger ID, you might have to transfer it over to your um, to your new keyboard and this is the entire LCD screen alright so that is the full teardown on this Dell Inspiron 15 5000 uh, if you have any question just comment below I do reach a comment and uh, if you have any question regarding about the computer stuff feel free to ask me down in a comment alright I hope this video is helpful to you and if you find the video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. It really helps me and to keep me motivated to make more of these type of videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye now.